Server owners who use your plugins are going to want the ability to manage who can use what features that you offer. For example, here, whenever I place on a torch, a diamond block spawns instead. And of course, server owners might want this to only be allowed to certain people who have bought a rank or some other type of requirement. In order to do this, we can use something known as permissions, and it's actually pretty simple. So if I go over into my code here, I'm simply listening for whenever a block is placed. If it is not going to be a torch, then I'm going to return. And then here, I'm going to set the block type to a diamond block. But let's say I want to check if the player who is placing the block has a specific permission node. What exactly is a permission node? Well, for example, let's say I have torch.diamond. This is a very basic example, but a permission node is basically just going to be a string and you can have it be basically whatever you want. Typically, it's going to start with a name of your plugin. So let's say one of keys tutorial.torch.diamond and this could be a permission node right here. Now, whenever you're going to publish your plugin to Bucket or Spigot or anywhere else, you want to provide your permission nodes. So for example, here, if we go to the Essentials Wiki, we have a link to the permissions list. And if you don't have many permissions, then you could just add them onto that page on Bucket or Spigot. But if you do have a lot, you could consider making your own website to add them like Essentials has right here. And if we look at all the permissions, here we see the different module, the associated command, the actual permission node right here, and a description. Now, obviously, Essentials offers a lot of features, so there's a lot of permission nodes here, and you basically want to have as many different permission nodes as you can. That way, server owners have the most amount of customization possible whenever they're using your plugins. So let's take a look at how to actually do this. I can now say if not event dot get player dot has permission, then here I can pass in a string. For example, worn off keys tutorial dot torch dot diamond. So if they do not have it, thanks to this exclamation point, I can then return meaning that this code right here will only be ran if the user who is placing the block does have this permission node right here. I'm going to go ahead and build my plugin. And for those of you following this entire series, I have changed how I built my plugin. We are now using Maven and a tutorial on how to do that can be found in the description and in the pinned comment. So now the build has been successful. I'm going to go ahead and restart the server. Now I'm connected again. And whenever I place a torch, I still get a diamond block. And that's because I am op on this server. Any ops are going to automatically have every single permission. So to prove that this is the case, I can deop myself. And then whenever I place down a torch, we just see an actual torch. But if I go back into the console and I op myself again, we are now going to get down blocks as expected. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to download the source code, gain early access to new videos, as well as get your own Linux VPS, then consider becoming a YouTube member by clicking on the join button directly below this video.